wanted to just have a little bit of a, I don't know, introdu introduction of why we love raw food. I love raw food because it helped me lose 70 pounds and my joints don't hurt anymore, my acne went away. I mean, you guys know my story, so um, yeah, well, I'll just get into We'll go around, yeah. Okay. Um, I'm Elizabeth, and I just want to thank everybody for coming. This is the first time I've met fruitarians in real life. So it's like mm -hmm. when these two walked into my thank kitchen you, the other night, it was just like, oh my God. Um, my short story is I've used a high raw diet, raw A1010 for long periods, juice fasting and water fasting to heal late stage neurologic Lyme disease and actually put on weight. I was a walking skeleton. So I've used it to like become a normal middle-aged woman who's prone to weight gain, which is a good thing for me because I was so emaciated with Lyme disease. So that's kind of my story. And if my, my story is if anybody, if, if I can heal Lyme, anybody can. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. that's my central message. Yeah. Awesome. Excellent. Me, um, so I uh, became fruitarian slash raw food vegan because I don't want to um, not be able to go skiing when I'm 60, 70 years old. Um, I, I definitely, you know, lost some weight, like uh, over 60 pounds, you know, no exercise, just eating lots of good fresh mm -hmm. foods, um, feeling really good with it, uh, and watching my mom heal herself of kidney cancer. Is definitely the major part of you know my psychological mindset to stick with it and it's delicious why not stick with it when right, you have so all of these amazing yeah. foods that you can have that are yeah it's not just eating like carrot <laughs> <laughs> exactly yeah. hi my name is Tabitha and this is my daughter Azaria and I know um, I've been vegan for gosh ever since she was a little girl a little baby when she was first born it's really what got me started looking into health and um, you know I think it's just a natural instinct once you have children you just want to like feed them the best way that you possibly can yeah. and learn as much as you can about you know how to take care of yourself so you can be around for them yeah. and uh, nurse them as best as possible so that's basically how it got me started I um, became vegan and the last couple of years it's kind of transitioned into raw foods and uh, just haven't been better. I mean, I juice all the time. I think my diet consists of mainly smoothies, juices, fruit, <laughs> and then salad. That's all I eat. I'm pretty, yeah. mm. pretty uh, basic. That's kind of why I like Jack. It's because he yeah, just eats. So he basically simple. eats exactly how I eat. Mm -hmm. I just like no fuss, you know, yeah. no glare. But yeah, you know, and I, I just want to be inspiring to my children. My yeah. main, my main thing, because I feel like they are, are where they come from. Yeah. So. That's yeah. just my, my yeah. main yeah. focus. Yeah, yeah. so it's so awesome. That's kind of where I'm at. So. And I'm also in school for holistic nutrition, so I'm hoping to kind of spread that out. Yeah. Yeah. We need more teachers. We need yeah. a lot yeah. of teachers. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So it's kind of like I want to go into business for myself. I, I'm, um, you know, looking into jobs in Portland, and it's just kind of like few and far in between. I'm being able to go get a job, so I'm trying to go all the way so I can just do it for myself. Yeah. And make my own rules, you know. <laughs> that's, that's the thing, like dietitians. Oh, I, if I would the regular registered dietitian route, I could get a job in a second. But yeah. since they I'm don't. doing the holistic nutrition, yeah. even though I'm hoping to get a PhD, I guarantee it's going to be a struggle for me to find a job. Yeah. So I hope to open up my own business is my ultimate goal. So cool. Thanks for having me. Yeah. <laughs> my name is Jessica. Um, I'm new to the lifestyle. I'm fully transitioned, and I'm just learning about it. Um, I met Tabitha at a mommy group, mm -hmm. nice. a mommy and me group, and it was just good timing. Mm -hmm. um, I haven't been getting the answers that I want from doctors, so I've just been trying to heal um, digestive issues. So mm -hmm. that's where I'm at. Just yeah. learning. Yeah. Well, well, you're on the right path. You're on the right path. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We're all here to help. Yes, uh -huh. exactly. for sure. I'm Glenn Flynn Livingston. I'm a psychologist and author. And I love raw food because I, before I found raw food, I had early Hashimoto's disease and eczema and psoriasis. And most recently I had um, something, a condition called benign tremor. Um, this little fun thing that snuck up on me last year. Wow. And I didn't recognize that the toxins from the raw foods were aggravating it. Um, my father told me it was genetic. It's not dangerous, but it kind of looks like Parkinson's and um, I don't 
don't have it when I eat raw food. When I eat 100% raw, I don't have it whatsoever. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. you know, my body does not like cooked food. Mm -hmm. um, not that I've been 100% perfect <laughs> for all these years, but I've been at it for a couple of years and um, tremendous results. It really cuts down the urge to binge. Like your, yes. your, yes. your body, especially like, low, low We all are like, like, yes. yes. Yeah. 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 I mean, if, if, if you ever felt like there was this ugh inside of you that just said, you know, give me the bread or give me the carbs, whatever it is, well, your body runs on carbs and you know, especially yeah. at the low fat raw mm -hmm. uh, philosophy, it just, I, I wish, I, I read a very popular book on binge eating and I wish I could tell you about it. My book is diagnostic. So I work with paleo people, I work with low carb people. Um, I wish I could slap them and say, just do this. Yeah. Just do this because just do yeah. it for 30 yeah. days. I mean, you, won't, you won't believe how the binges go. Yeah. You just won't believe it. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hi, I'm Linda, and I was diagnosed with second cancer of the kidney in 2014. And my lovely son referred me to Fat, Sick, and Nearly Dead, which basically helped save my life. <clears throat> Went on a green juice fast and then did a Max Gerson protocol for nine months. And the tumor really didn't go anywhere, but it was very, very low fruit, a um, lot of potatoes, a lot of cooked foods. And so I kind of veered from that. Um, I'm a retired cardiac nurse. And when I found out about um, methionine restriction and water fasting, I did a 39 day grape diet. And then I was on grape juice for 90 days. And in eight Ooh. months, the tumor was gone. Yeah. So who would have thought fruit? Yeah. 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 That's yeah. what our bodies live on yeah. <laughs> and heals, right? And, heal so. on, yeah. and dry fasting was a big part of that. No food or water for 20 hours a day, three to five days dry fasting a month over the full moon. Very important. But yeah, yeah. Over the full so, moon? Over the full moon. Okay. That's when the parasite eggs hatch. And if you starve them, then they die. And you expel them, especially if you do enemas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Did one this morning. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> it's like you know your own blood. We're yes. <laughs> our own tribe here. So awesome. We can share. <laughs> Thank you. Enjoy your mother talking about it. I don't know what. Amazing. I was asking if you enjoy it. Oh yeah. No, I don't mind. <laughs> it's important to be regular, you know. <laughs> but anyway, so yes, that's that's my story. So eight months, two months gone. Yes. That's cool. Right. And I've been raw since February of 2015, Ooh. mainly fruitarian. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. Awesome. Hey, Hi, my name is Mariah. Um, I've only been raw since May last year, and I didn't really go raw to heal anything, but um, Brandon inspired me. Like, just this, like, I was just following him on Instagram, and he made a post saying that he found God in food, and I was like, well, I found God just about everywhere else, so. <laughs> transition and all of a sudden like I just started like I, my initial plan was just to go raw for 90 days but I've been mm. raw ever since that's awesome. so great awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. that's so great mostly eat raw just to like connect to like energy and just like yep. understand mm -hmm. like conscious eating and mm -hmm. yeah. like, yes like, just reason. like yeah. yeah just everything that's what it's all about right? yeah. 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 you can because once you connect with that everything yeah. mm -hmm. exactly yes. mm -hmm. yeah you can't consciously eat if you're not eating wrong like because mm -hmm. exactly. like, i tried yeah. to consciously eat like mm -hmm. one bite two oh, it's like a cooked food and it's like it was nothing yeah, yeah. it takes yeah it, it takes it, it down, down. Yeah. especially yeah. the grains take yeah. it down, down. Yeah. Yeah. Like, really? the level yeah. yeah i had a bite of quinoa at harlow i had been raw for a week and they didn't take it out of the salad and i just took a bite and i felt my whole yeah, like energetic too. field just went yeah. 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 for the rest yeah. of the day wow yeah, and you'd never feel that if you weren't like, right. You know. Yeah, because yeah, 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 normally yeah. when you would eat cooked food, like you felt that all the time. Right. It was yeah, like a right. regular normal thing, mm -hmm. and yeah. it was that was just life. But then when you go raw, you feel like this heightened level. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then you eat cooked food again, and yeah. you're like, I used what to feel is? that all yeah. the time. Yeah. Yeah. But like yeah. you know, it's like you're if awakened. You, if you live in the shadows, you don't know what the light looks like. Yeah, right. Right. it's like yeah. nose blind. You know, when you like cook something and it smells really good right away, and then like four hours later, someone comes over and they're like, oh, it smells so good in here. And you're like, oh, I didn't notice. 
Because you don't notice. Yeah, you're feeling it the same yeah. all the time. Yeah. It's right. just about. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, our food should be our energy and our vibration that feeds our cells. It really mm -hmm. is important. And cooked foods just isn't there. Yeah. We shouldn't feel yeah. exhausted yeah. or tired yeah. or drowsy after we eat. Yeah. We should be energetic. Mm -hmm. exactly. right. If you do, then the food took from you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. That's it. The food took from you. Yeah. Uh -huh. like that. To eat to, yeah. 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 Doug Graham says you should never have to recover from a meal. Amen. Yeah, yeah, that's a good one too. That is a good yeah. one. Yeah. Impact on me. Yeah, that is a good, good analogy. Yeah, you have to recover from it. Don't eat it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 And yes. All right. <laughs> My name is Brandon. Um, I love raw foods. I'm on day 70 of Juice Fast. I went to raw foods because I had uh, four or five years of symptoms from IBS, symptoms from Crohn's, um, terrible digestive issues pain 24 seven, uh, being scared of what to eat, mm. uh, just cringing, not knowing what to eat, who would have known it'd be so simple to eat fruit. Yeah. yeah. I didn't know that, but, it's um, so it's so simple. And one day, um, the doctors would just want me to do all these tests and do all these crazy stuff. And I just got fed up with it and fed up with the system. And I was like, I got to find my own ways to heal. I got to find the truth. Yeah. I went home. I just studied like a madman on the internet. And I was like, oh, you know, disease is, you know, the alkaline and, you know, acid base. And I was like, you know, disease forms in the acid body. Yeah. And, um, you know, disease can't, you know, thrive in an alkaline environment. So I was like, oh, what's alkaline and what's acidic? You know, so I found these things and meat, dairy, very acidic. So I was like, that's it. Cut it overnight. It was like yeah. simple mm -hmm. as that. Mm -hmm. Amen. And, um, yeah, yeah I went, uh, went like cooked vegan for like three months and um, probably about, 80% of the symptoms from, you know, IBS, Crohn's, excessive candida, and depression, anxiety, from wow. that, and all wow. that, mm -hmm. um, like that pretty much went all the way, about 80% of it, and I said, let me get a little deep further into it, uh, I found uh, Dan McDonald, shout out DTM, Yay. I love DTM, yeah. he was the main inspo, mm -hmm. uh, met him in Kauai, I love him, he's like my brother, <laughs> I love you Dan, <laughs> and um, met him, and I saw him, and then uh, three months raw, all of their symptoms went away, yeah. like 100% yeah. cured, mm. and these were things the doctor said I was going to have to live Forever. the rest of my life yeah. with, yeah. and they gave me a little sheet of paper, you know, immune, an autoimmune disease, your body's attacking, so there's no way to cure it, yeah. um, you're yeah. just going to have to live with it, right. mm -hmm. and that's when I was like, no way, am I going to have yeah. to live with it, you know, I'm finding wants, the truth. Our body wants to heal. Find the truth, exactly, yeah. so I mean, six months of, you know, doing that, three months of raw, completely took away, you know, like a lifetime of pain that I had from so the digestive awesome. issues. Yeah. Yeah. And here, here. ever since then, you know, it's been like three and a half years raw awesome. and um, been like the best years of my life. And I was always scared to get old. And I was like, oh no, once I get into like, you know, it gets better. I'm past 21, like my life's over. But it's like, <laughs> I wasn't even living until I found raw foods. Yeah. Like, I wasn't even living. Yeah. And, um, and I want to share the message with everybody and I just want the whole world to know um, you know, and I do YouTube videos, Instagram, you can find me at Light Samps Living. Nice. And, um, yeah. Cheers to raw foods. Cheers to raw foods. <laughs> so, hope you guys enjoyed this little uh, meeting of <laughs> like minds. Um, so, hopefully you can enjoy that because you couldn't be here. So, I wanted to make yeah. a little video so that you guys could be part of this little meeting, right? Yes. So, yeah, you can find me on Facebook, Lissa's Raw Food Romance, on Instagram, at Raw Food Romance, and on Snapchat, Lissa Raw Vegan. But before we go, I wanted to say, anyone who has, you mentioned your um, social media, like just, uh, who else has social media who wants to? <laughs> well, let's go around. Okay, go at the coexist kid on uh, Instagram. Okay. And my YouTube is Mariah Rochelle. Cool, nice. awesome. <laughs> I live love raw on Instagram and YouTube. Ooh. Perfect. You can find everything at neverbingeagain.com, including a free copy of the book. Next yes. Nice. Yep. Thank you awesome. so much. Yeah. 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 Um, I am Miss Mommy Ra on Instagram. Awesome. I love my pictures of me and my girls. I knew I knew you. Yeah. Yeah. I knew I knew you. Just fun <laughs> pictures of me and my family. Okay. And I'm uh, Raw Natty Nate on Instagram, um, Facebook. Um, and YouTube.
Yep. And I know you guys know me. <laughs> and I'm Lava Love USA on Instagram, Facebook, and lavalovusa.com nice. for my nice. volcanic ash products. Wow. Yes. 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 It's so awesome. It's awesome. I love you guys. I love you guys. I love you guys. Big hug. You have to hug. Come on. 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 Come on.